Previously. <laughs> We're about to hop in the truck now and travel over to the island, okay? okay? Yeah. There's four women. I've got four women and myself and the dog in a ute. Um, how do you reckon my weekend's going? That's why I work all weekend, okay? okay? Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah, okay, yeah, so, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, that that does make me feel a lot better, actually. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, you'll be watching the rugby by yourself, I take it. I'll have a headpiece in because uh, I'm not allowed to turn the volume up. So, yeah, yeah I, I just squeeze. You know, you know, life, I've been married 30 years. You just get squeezed, squeezed, and then you fit into a coffin and everyone comes to your funeral and that's the end. You know, it's 2023, Marto. I just don't, I mean, I don't know what to say, but I mean, you're right. It's just another year closer to the grave, isn't it, mate? <laughs> it's a bit grim, a bit of a grim start. Sorry about that. <laughs> so you're on the boat, you're back <laughs> to the island. Can I ask, because I'm a bit rude, um, and, you know, the audience always wants to know how your health is and that. You had the big knee operation last year. How's it gone? Um, I'm eight weeks in. If anyone, I remember Meg said one of my best mates over there. He's a uh, knee replacement curious. I'm sure a lot of other rugby players are. In the old days, they didn't invent this, but ne- and there used to just be old blokes hobbling around. Now there's a chance to actually walk properly. I'm eight weeks in. The crutches went last weekend. Uh, so I'm walking around, riding a bike. How are you going? Well, thanks very much. But I tell you what, it was good to be disabled for a little while. Um, it provided a lot of privileges in life, yes. and uh, it was a rare insight. And what I did was make people look at you and they go, "You poor old bloke," <laughs> and uh, and they, and you make them feel so better about themselves. They go, "At least that's not me hobbling around there." So, how yeah, it long? Good. It was fun for a while. I, yeah. How long for for all the other men listening? Do you, can you elicit the sympathy from her indoors? Because I know that there's a finite time on that. That lasted four weeks while the endone addiction was um, current, which was supported by the medical staff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it felt sorry for me. But uh, then as soon as I made an effort and it looked like I was slightly mobile, uh, she's sitting next to me. Um, <laughs> as, soon as, <laughs> um, as, soon, as soon as the terrible pain passed. Yes, the uh, terrible pain passed. Yes, yeah, when the just general pain was there, I was back on my own, I was on my own again. And you can pass this on to Mrs. Marta. This is what women don't understand. You can give birth. Greg gave birth out of his knee, okay? Out of his knee. Mm, that's exactly that's exactly right. And uh, I'll tell you what is good, just for anyone, for if you are in that slightly incapacitated, I was made to mow the lawn last weekend, and that's like a walker. So if instead of using a Zimmer frame when you get older, just push a mower around, and it looks like you're about to be useful somewhere. Mm. There's my tip for today. Okay. And dog, do, your dog in the truck going back to the island as well? Yeah. Well, I haven't been back for about three or four weeks because I haven't been well. And then the Sydney Sevens last week. Yeah. Yeah, dogs in the back. It's 37 degrees in Brisbane today for any Kiwis thinking they might like to uh, escape the cold. It's certainly warm enough. No, oh, man. Look, and look, you know, we've had our floods, but we know also that you have floods as well. And I, I had a text from a mate who lives in Brisbane last week, and he said, when you had your last floods, the river rose in parts 16 metres or something insane like that. Was that right? Uh, no, we're, we're a city built on a floodplain, so we should ex- we expect floods all the time. That's why we've blown away what happened in Auckland last weekend. I thought you guys were immune to it. You were waterproof. Yeah. You're obviously not. Well, mate, we get it. I oh, know, once every five years, it's a disaster, and same as you guys. Oh, look at those houses. They flooded five years ago. They flooded again. Well, how did that happen? How did that happen? So everyone keeps getting surprised. How did that happen? Yeah. It's called infrastructure. It'd be quite nice, but I'll tell you what we built instead. We built cycle lanes, because there's a guy with uh, cycle clips who, who, you know, who basically <laughs> votes. His, he's using that once every six months, mate, but we'd rather do that. <laughs> Talk about the sevens in Sydney. So good to hear you back on the commentary. You sounded as though you loved it. Oh, ridiculous. Sevens is ridiculous in terms of uh, it's fun. And to commentate, it was just a joy. I hadn't commentated for, what, just before the COVID? The start of COVID is when Fox lost the rugby. Um, and to do that instead of 15 aside rugby, God, it was good. It was compl- I was a complete idiot the whole weekend, and I loved it. I was just reflecting what was going on in the grandstands. Mm-hmm. Could, you, could you see... I don't know if you, you could tell, because it was a really hot weekend, so a lot of them were hiding up in the concourse. But there was, again, Australians or Sydney people didn't think it was they, uh, they had a ticket to the seventh. They were under the impression it was a fancy dress dance party. And occasionally they go, what are those blokes doing what with the ball doing? down there on that field? I'm not sure. What are you doing? Sure. The heat? Bloody hell, and, what are you doing? Look at those guys. At, 
as opposed to your wonderful Wellington Sevens, which got squashed by the uh, woke police, people have seemed to be able to do anything. I did not see one arrest, and I saw some people in some very ordinary condition. Well, and look, and what say there was an arrest? How many arrests when 27,000 people gather in Sydney on a Friday night? And get and get bombed. Well, how funny it is if you arrested the Pope or Fred Flintstone or <laughs> the Egyptians or or you arrest a banana. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was everywhere you turned. In between, if I had an hour off between games, etc., I'd go wandering downstairs. Of course, and I spent the whole time laughing. It was fabulous. Oh, hang on a second. Somebody's trying to break into the car next yeah. door. Yeah. No, the, when the boat takes off, it rocks a little bit, and Amarox and Rangers have. Some, anyway, I want to oh, go okay. that guy, but that's beside the point. The other, Sorry, thing, the other thing is that you sent me a great photo a few years ago from the Sevens of an... Bless you, crying all... Turn your alarm off, you dickhead, mate! I oh, know! Turn your alarm off, oh, dickhead! They, they, they park their car and they go upstairs, and now they're... Oh, there Here you we go. go. We're back. We're okay, back. you sent me a photo oh. of the human avocado, and this was this big, fat dude, and his stomach was... The, Turn your alarm off, dickhead! Oh, this is a disaster. Do you want me to... Oh, no, it's okay, mate. I can't wind the windows up in my... I can't wind the no, windows up because it's 37 it's degrees. 37 degrees. Look, Mrs. can oh, Mrs. Marta go out and yell at someone other than you for a change? Marty wants you to go out and tell the bloke to shut up. Uh, I'm winding the windows up. I could die, but it's cool. Okay, well, we'll get this. We'll make this quick. The avocado guy, my favourite costume ever, a big fat guy, and he'd, he'd hollowed out the bit in the middle for his hairy gut, and that was the avocado stone. And a guy who was in his 50s, white, fat, sweaty, ugly as an avocado, all of a sudden got some that we can because of the humour of his costume. You do what, you, however you get it, you get it. You do whatever you can. Roger oh, Beck, bossy. Roger oh, Beck yeah. to Rugby League. I don't know how much you've heard this story, mate. What do you think about it, though? It's Look, it's the un unfortunate experiment. Not as bad as Benji Marshall trying to play first five, but the reality of it is he's not going to the World Cup as a all-black unless we have a heap of injuries. And you just said it, a heap of injuries. The first thing that should happen is he should ring his manager and say, I'm sorry, you're sacked. That was the poorest decision I ever saw, mate. Well, if there's one thing the All Blacks don't need, and and uh, I'm not an All Black supporter, but it's quite clear, you do not need talented backs. You have a factory that keeps churning them out at a remarkable rate. It's like, it's incredible. So what did he think was going to happen? Did he Was he so overconfident that he thought he was going to stroll into the All Blacks? I incredible, mate. He might as well go back now. Yeah. Go no, play for the White. I, I saw he was uh, thinking about going to the Roosters. Yeah, the Roosters. Yeah. Yeah. Salary cap somehow doesn't apply to them. I don't know. What no, the I think if you can, why no, wouldn't if, he go back to the Warriors? No, if you come from rugby, it doesn't count in the salary cap. So there's your loop. There's no way he's coming back to the Warriors, mate. I mean, for goodness' sake, if he goes back to league, he's 29. He wants to play in a winning side. So obviously he'd go back. And also. You know, rugby's such a complicated game these days. A guy like him, he's got no boot on him, can't play fullback. You're asking him to play second five and remember a hundred different rules when you you know approach a ruck. It's just a bit much. It's like uh, it's like these rugby league players who thought they could go over the NFL despite never playing it again and being the age of 27 thinking they're going to make it. Mm. It's it's it, it's just a gross overconfidence, and it's because they surround themselves with yes men who just go, yeah, that's yeah, a great, yeah, great idea. idea. Yeah, 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 I'll give them seven percent idea. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll put my hand out. Yeah, yeah. great. You're and, the... mate. He's got too much talent not to survive, survive, but not thrive in rugby. You remember that show, The Rise and Fall of Reginald Perrin, right? I mean, you're old enough to remember that show. No. Yeah, Leonard Rossiter. And he had a, his boss was called CJ, and there were two bum kisses. One that just went the whole time, great. The other went super. It didn't matter what it was. I always sort of env envisaged this. A whole, whole lot of guys surrounding Roger going, oh, great, super. Uh, a couple of quick topics to go. ANBL, is that big time in Australia? I mean, we're loving the breakers at the moment. Is there, is, does, does the basketball... Uh, yeah? It's... It's huge in Sydney. In Brisbane, uh, the Bullets are coming last. So I've spoken to you before. We're bandwagon members. We only jump on the bandwagon uh, when there's winning to be done. Uh, they're not going well. So basketball, not big in Brizzy, but everywhere else. Anyone who's heading towards the final like you guys, uh, yes, it's very popular. Big Bash is uh, wrapping up at the moment here this weekend, and that's probably the biggest thing. Okay. I'm going to leave you with one little song. My, my, my. 
And I want, I, want to, I want you to ask Mrs. Mardo this. So the Welsh Rugby Union have banned the choir from singing it because it's misogynist, it's hateful, it's hurtful, and it's, uh, you know, advocates violence against women. Or is it just a song and no, oh. nobody even knew that before it was actually pointed out? Does Mrs. Mar- would Mrs. Mardo ban that song in your house? Um, it, her nor I ever knew what it was about. It was just about singing a song, wasn't mm, it? Wasn't God, it? Are they really? Don't tell me the Welsh are going to stop it. There's yeah, no, no they have. Yeah, yeah they, no, they've stopped God. their choir from singing it. better than that. Yeah, well, you would think They're so, wouldn't you? I mean, what is the? Why are there only ever morons that run sports administration, Greg? Well. Well, I don't know, because they're the ones that are looking for power. The rest of us are happy just to watch. They want some power. They can't get anywhere else, so they go into sport. Is that an answer? I don't know. I'm going to leave you alone because you're just about... You, I mean, obviously, the sweat's pouring off your brow and you're just about to die in the car with the windows yeah. up. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> Have a lovely weekend, mate. We'll talk again next Friday. Always a pleasure. Greg Martin with us.